On the 31st of December, WHO's epidemic intelligence system picked up a report about a cluster of cases of pneumonia of unknown cause in Wuhan, China. The following day, uh, New Year's Day, WHO asked China for more information under the international health regulations and activated our incident management support team. On the 4th of January, WHO reported the cluster of cases on Twitter. At that stage, no deaths were reported. On the 14th of January, WHO tweeted reports from China that preliminary investigations by Chinese authorities had found no clear evidence that human-to-human -human transmission was occurring. This is in line with our practice of reporting to the world information that countries report to us. However, earlier the same day, WHO held a press briefing at which we said that based on our past experience with coronaviruses, human-to-human -human transmission was likely. On the 30th of January, I reconvened the emergency committee and after receiving their advice, because of the new information they gathered, they had a consensus, I declared a global public health emergency, WHO's highest level of alarm. We had 82 cases outside China and no death when we declared the highest level of global emergency. From the beginning, WHO has acted quickly and decisively to respond and to warn the world. We sounded the alarm early and we sounded it often. We said repeatedly that the world had a window of opportunity to prepare and to prevent widespread community transmission.